The first thing I thought when I looked at this car, and its price, was that the McLaren 570S is Porsche 911 Turbo S money. They're both supercars, by any stretch of the definition, they both have top speeds of around 200 miles per hour, but only one will make people on the expressway swarm you like angry bees taking photos and trying to race. It's the McLaren, by the way. The 570S starts at about $185,000. The Turbo S, which Stoy just drove, starts at $188,000. They say dramatically different things about you as a driver. If you want to quietly slip through traffic at well above the posted speed limit, not get harassed at gas stations and stoplights and use doors that open conventionally, get the Porsche. If you answer no, no and no except for the well above the posted speed limit part, then the McLaren is your ticket. I wasn't sure if this 570S had vertical doors or not, but I was glad it did when I saw the delivery driver hopping out in my driveway. Vertical doors, stock ones at least, are an early sign that whatever you're driving is something special. The rear body work was hot with the engine cooking below. And even 30 minutes later I could still see the heat waves wafting out of the extractors. The best way to get into the 570S is to use the door handle, swing and lower yourself in, using the spring of the doors for balance. Getting the seat in the right position is nearly impossible, considering the buttons are on the right side of the bottom portion of the chair, sandwiched in between it and the center console. There are like 20 buttons down there and I only figured out what a few of them did. I moved the seat forward and adjusted the back, but I couldn't quite get everything where I needed it to be. A quick fix for that would be to display the buttons on the central screen when you touch them, so at least you'd have some sort of guide. I don't even think you could see them if you went in head first. The suede buckets are sporty and shell-like, but I would like them a little tighter around the shoulders. A wider man may not need such things, 